In this video, we will take a... we will begin to take a look at solving formulas for a variable. A formula is much like an equation, except we have several variables in the equation rather than just one, and we want to solve for one specific variable. As we do, we will treat all other variables like numbers. And instead of our final answer being a number, the final answer is an expression. With this in mind, our equations will solve exactly like they solved before. For example, when we saw the equation 3x equals 15, and we wanted to solve for x, we would balance through the equal sign and divide both sides by the 3. In this way, we got the x alone and 5 on the other side. It is much the same pattern we'll use if we have more variables, say wx equals y. x currently is multiplied by w. To get w alone, we will divide both sides by w. Our final answer is an expression, that fraction y over w. The important thing as we solve these formulas is that the variable we want is alone on one side. Let's try some examples that are more like two-step equations. Here's a problem where we can balance through the equal sign, and our goal is to solve for x. This means we want the x to be alone on the left side of the equation. We'll treat the other variables like numbers. If the other variables were numbers, we would add and subtract first. So to get rid of a plus b, we will subtract b from both sides. Notice b minus b subtracts out, and we're just left with wx equals... We don't have like terms, so we just leave it as y minus b. Now, to get the x alone, we simply have to do the opposite operation. It's x times w, so we will divide by the variable we want to get rid of on both sides. The x is now alone, and our final answer is the expression y minus b over w. And this becomes our solution. Again, notice the variable we wanted, x, is all alone on one side. Let's try another equation. In this next example, you notice that the variable we're solving for is b. Again, we will balance through the equal sign as we attempt to get the b alone. Focusing on this side of the equation, then, first we need to do the adding and subtracting. Currently, a cd is added to the b term. The opposite of plus cd is minus cd. We will subtract cd from both sides. Now, we have a, b equals... Notice there are no like terms on the right side, so we just treat this as a long addition problem. wx plus y minus cd. Remember, our goal is to solve for b. We want to get the b alone. To do that, we need to get rid of the a. The opposite of multiplying by a is dividing both sides by a. As we do, the a's divide out, and we're left with b alone on the left side of the equation. The right side is an expression, wx plus y minus cd, all over a. This is our final solution. These formulas will all solve very similar to how we solved regular equations. We simply will treat the other variables like numbers, and remember our final answer is an expression.